Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to show you the secret to rotating your hips in the downswing. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So we're talking about the secret to rotating your hips in the golf downswing. Now, getting this right plays a massive role in your ability to get into a great impact position. Compress the golf ball with your irons and really hit solid wood shots off the tee as well. So what do most golfers do wrong when it comes to rotating the hips? And without doubt, most golfers I see do not rotate their hips enough in the downswing. So have a look at this. If I'm at set up here, most golfers at this set up there have their hips at pretty much zero degrees here. Most golfers I see, and this might be anywhere from a mid to high handicap, as they come down in the downswing, the hips will virtually stay pretty square. They might open just a fraction, but most golfers, the hips remain pretty square and they rely on their arms and hands to sort of flick and lift the golf ball into the air, particularly with the iron. So lack of hip rotation is a, a massive thing I see all the time. If you look at the best players in the world, they're opening their hips in the downswing once they get to impact anywhere up to 50 degrees. Now, I'm not saying you have to do quite that much, but it's an indicator. If you're not turning your hips or rotating your hips in the downswing enough, it's a great thing to exaggerate that and really feel like you're getting yourself some sort of position like this where they're nice and open. Now, regardless of your flexibility, you should be able to at least get to, I don't know, 20 to 30 degrees and get in a position from face on where you can see your, your sort of your belt buckle is sort of out this way, way out in front of the golf ball. We don't want it at impact, pointing straight down towards the ball and relying on our hands and arms to time golf shots. Opening the hips has many benefits, which I'm going to cover in just a moment. The other thing I see golfers doing wrong when it comes to the hips is they'll slide it too far towards the target like this and that makes it really difficult to rotate from here and again it's a hands and arms motion like that. Now you need a little bit of lateral shift towards the target but when you move your hips this way it's really difficult to rotate and really bad on your, on your joints in your hip over here. And the final thing I see when it comes to hip rotation is leaving that weight on the back foot here. And again, there may be a tiny bit of hip rotation here, but it's not used very efficiently. And you're in that sort of scooping sort of mode here. The lead shoulder goes high really early and you're trying to lift the golf ball into the air. So there's some key things that you might be doing wrong that you can relate to. I'm going to cover now some of the real benefits and what you can do to start getting the right amount of hip rotation in the downswing. It's coming up. Okay, the secret to rotating your hips in the downswing. Let's look at some real positives of doing this correctly. Now, as I said earlier, opening those hips up and having them rotate, it helps get that club face really stable at impact. If you're someone that keeps those hips fairly level at, in the downswing and they don't open much at all, you'll find you're using hands and arms to square the club face. When you open, rotate those hips, it helps really square that club face. You can come into impact and hit a lot straighter golf shots. So that plays a really big key there. Now, the other big thing you can do with helping you get better hip rotation in the downswing is really focusing on this on this lead leg here and the lead hip and making sure it moves backwards in the downswing. I'll show you from this angle here, we'll show it best. As we get to the top, if you can focus on that lead hip rotating early. Now, as I shift pressure into my lead side, get that lead hip coming back. This lead hip coming back here, it helps me stay in posture, which is great, it helps you avoid early extension and gives you that nice rotation there into the golf ball. So from face on, if I can get that lead hip moving back, I can get into that great 
impact position like that. And avoid early extension standing up in the downswing, which causes all sorts of problems. So another great key you can do. Now, as I mentioned, I actually show it from this angle here. It's really important as you start that downswing that you start rotating early, very slowly at first. So as I get to the top here, I'll show you. When we make our backswing, we've got pressure into our right instep of our right foot. Now, as we start our downswing, we want to be putting that pressure as soon as possible into that left instep. And as we do that, we want to be start rotating straight away, nice and steadily, not spinning your hips super quickly like that, but nice and smoothly, and just allowing the club to come down to impact like that. We've got a nice open position through to the follow through from there. Really important you start rotating those hips as you start your downswing so that they're in a nice open position like that at impact. And that'll make a huge difference in your ball striking, especially with your irons, but it will help you with your longer clubs as well. So coming up, I'm going to show you a really simple exercise you can practice at home to get these hips rotating in your downswing properly every time. It's coming up. Okay, here's a simple exercise to help you get the right amount of rotation in your hips in the downswing. So I highly recommend you video your swing. This will really help you identify if this may be an issue with you with you and if it is getting yourself on camera is a great way to give you that visual feedback to see yourself improving so I always recommend over exaggerating first of all so if you're not rotating your hips at all I definitely recommend trying to open them a lot lot more than what you're currently doing until you find that sort of happy medium so a great way to practice this as I said film your swing you can do this at home you don't have to be hitting actual shots for this now what I want you to do, as you make your swing, as you come down, what I'm aiming to do, as I rotate and open those, rotate those hips, I want to feel like that lead shoulder gets right on top of that lead foot. I'm doing a, a tiny bit of lateral movement here, just a small one, as I rotate, 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 through to impact. Now as you finish through, I want you to feel like both these hips are level with each other towards the target. So as I go through, through my follow through, you see my hips here, they're lined up with each other here nicely right towards my target. I've got a great amount of rotation there. Now if you're not quite flexible enough that's okay. That's a good aiming point as you come through, as you open up. Maybe you can't get quite enough rotation there, yours might be slightly pointing out this way, that's okay but strive to get those hips pointing level, nice and horizontal here, level towards your target. That way you know you've got a great amount of rotation in those hips and you'll be in a good position to be hitting solid golf shots. Now super important, coming up I've got a video that talks about the best rotation drills for both the backswing and the downswing, so it ties in really well with this. It's coming up make sure you watch it. Do you want to know how to rotate your body even better in the golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about how to get the best rotation for your backswing and your downswing which complements this video really well. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel and remember if you have any questions or comments please let me know I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.